AI ethics, is the EU killing AI with regulation? Artificial intelligence is easily one of the main buzzwords when we talk about technology. But AI takes technological advancements a step further. The possibilities are endless, but among these opportunities remain a landmine of risks that have concerned large groups of scientists and academics. People are wary of the threat AI might potentially pose. They believe the risk is too real to move forward with any advancements unless a set of guidelines is agreed upon. On 8 April 2019, the high-level expert group on AI presented ethics guidelines for trustworthy artificial intelligence. Newly proposed AI regulation in 2021 shows that the EU is moving toward regulating a wide range of AI applications. For example, there are explicit regulations against using AI to manipulate human behavior and biased algorithms. A debate emerged about how these EU regulations may impede innovation in Europe. Already, the EU lags behind the United States and China in terms of AI private investment, where the US receives over 10 times the investment. The risk is that these regulations create unnecessary bureaucracy that undermines development. At the same time, the EU could be leading the new global norms that other countries may be challenged to follow, especially since the EU will assert jurisdiction if the company is operating within its borders. One argument in favor of the EU's approach is that trustworthiness and transparency are essential to adoption of the technology, which may allow the EU to have a competitive edge in the long run. These guidelines talked about how companies and governments should develop ethical applications of artificial intelligence. AI Ethical Guidelines According to the guidelines, AI should be lawful, i.e., respectful of all applicable laws and regulations. Robust, i.e., it is technical but takes the social environment into account when making decisions. Ethical, i.e., respects all ethical principles and values. Perhaps the main reason for strict ethical guidelines is the usual portrayal of AI in movies and television shows and the propaganda surrounding it. However, people's fears are not unfounded. Technological advancements know no bounds, and with time we will only see a steady rise in AI. The guidelines being put forward are indeed to curb AI from taking over completely, but it is within the bounds of admin and bureaucracy. The group of 52 experts convened to discuss the ethical concerns and set up guidelines that work for this very goal while keeping the future of AI systems in mind while adding any requirements they deemed necessary. Transparency. According to the EU, data and algorithms used to create AI should be made accessible to people for further study. The decisions made by AI should be reviewed and understood by human beings. Thus, adding the need for an operator when using AI to explain the decisions their AI makes. Non-discriminatory behavior. As popularly known, science has proven to be racist in the past. To ensure that there is little to no discriminatory behavior shown by the AI system, services provided by AI should be made available to all. This is regardless of their age, gender, race, or sexual orientation. Accountability. AI systems shouldn't go unchecked, they need to be audited and covered by existing protections. Any negative impact should be recorded and reported instead of creating something better without previous knowledge of a negative consequence. Privacy. Among other problems with technology, privacy has been one to take the lead in many arguments. The personal data collected by all AI systems must be secure and private. The encryption should not allow for just anyone to access it and should not be easily stolen. Safety. Perhaps similar to privacy, AI systems ought to be secure and not easily compromised from external attacks. Their data should be well encrypted and reasonably reliable. All in all, developing AI ethical guidelines can often be called abstract due to the room they leave for interpretation, thus hard to comment on objectively. However, the EU's process to develop the guidelines has been instrumental in creating a document that empowers technology and people's right to their privacy and safety.